Democrats are demanding that the IRS turn over the documents, and that is not going to happen, and they know it. This is a political stunt. That the acting White House Chief of Staff saying, no way, no chance the Dems are going to get their hands on the president's tax returns. Now, as we've been telling you, they formally requested six years' worth from the IRS and the president. He has lawyered up to fight that very premise. Now, joining me now is former Chief White House Ethics Attorney under President George W. Bush, Richard Painter. And Richard, first of all, just give a 10,000-foot view what is being asked of this president We've seen from every president in modern times, and the, the Dems at least seem to be referencing a law that seems at least in black and white to be pretty straight in terms of that they have the power to get the returns. Every president since Richard Nixon has disclosed his tax returns. This has nothing to do with being a Democrat or a Republican. It has to do with transparency that the American people expect from their president. Donald Trump promised to disclose his tax returns when he ran for president. Apparently he lied because he not only doesn't want to voluntarily disclose the tax returns, but he wants to use taxpayer money to pay uh, the Department of Justice uh, to uh, litigate against the United States House of Representatives a subpoena of the tax returns and the request that the IRS turn over the tax returns. Uh, this is completely absurd. Uh, if he has nothing to hide, he should simply turn over the tax returns. He doesn't have a single argument uh, for not disclosing his tax returns, as has every other president, and as he promised to do when he ran for president. Rich, I'm going to give you a buffet of rationales why people say the president doesn't want to turn it over. One is it'll reflect that the income that he's talked about, as wealthy as he is, um, is not a reflection on reality, that, uh, in fact, He's worth a lot less um, than he has said to this point. The other is that he's paid no taxes, that he's avoided taxes at every turn. And then finally, it will show a lot of the conflicts of interest that people have alleged but yet to prove. What do you think is most concerning of those, or if you want to go off the page, why doesn't want these returns to get out? I have no idea. I do know that nobody in the United States would loan him any money since 1993 when he had $900 million worth of casino bonds go bust. And he's been borrowing money and doing business deals all over the world, uh, most notably in countries that are dictatorships. And he has a close relationship with Russia. I don't know if there are Russian rubles on those tax returns or not. Uh, but the bottom line is we have the right to see the tax returns. And every president has disclosed voluntarily his tax returns. Now we finally have a House of Representatives that has asked the IRS for the tax returns, and it's time for them to turn it over. And this has nothing to do with being a Democrat or a Republican. I'm an independent. I still want to see the tax returns. Richard, I know, um, A, as we mentioned, Congress is trying to do this. Um, also at the state level in New York, uh, uh, folks are trying to do this. They're also trying to make it requirements to be on ballots. Because so many norms have been shattered in the last couple of years, do you think we need to codify this stuff in law so even after Trump that this is not an elective choice, this and other things like it, that I, I know you obviously know ethics better than just about anybody, but you probably never imagined we would have a commander in chief that would do these kind of things. Do we need to codify it or whoever's going to be the next president, they would never try this stuff? We should elect a president like this again. Uh, and this has been a very difficult uh, two and a half years now uh, because Donald Trump on a range of different fronts has not shown that he is capable of performing the duties as president of the United States. You can't have a law prohibiting everything from racist tweets uh, to refusing to disclose your tax returns, uh, you know, to everything else that's been going on in this administration. So I, perhaps we should have a mandatory disclosure law with respect to the tax returns. But this goes to the fundamental character problem of Donald Trump himself, and we are going to need to address that, either through impeachment by the United States House of Representatives and removal by the Senate, or if we have to wait till November 2020, hopefully the Democrats can run somebody, somebody credible who has released his or her tax returns, and then maybe they can bait him or a primary opponent in the Republican race. But the American people are fed up with this. When you look at the last uh, uh, two plus years, 
and we could talk about emoluments, we can talk about so many different things where there's been ethical red flags that have been raised in addition to, you know, flying blind without the returns, et cetera. Is it the totality of it all that you're worried that there'll be a scar no matter how 2020 turns out? Um, or is this going to be a blip on the radar that, you know, we got to this point without this kind of worry? Sure, we had Nixon and Watergate, but it was different. Uh, how do you think we go about fixing this? First of all, we find out what's going on. We get the tax returns and we also get the Mueller report. That might also tell us something about his financial relationship with the Russians. We need to have transparency. We need disclosure of what's going on. We can't fix this problem until we find out about the extent of the problem. We know about his psychiatric condition, that he is unable to uh, communicate uh, coherently on Twitter and in speeches. We know about his relationship with the Russians. We know about his obstruction of justice. We can learn more about that in the Mueller report. We need the facts, though, all of the facts, and then we got to figure out what to do about it with respect to Trump and make sure this never happens again in our country. Richard Painter, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And we will, of course, find out uh, if we'll get these returns, um, I don't know, soon, but at least hopefully we will. All right, coming up next, everybody, the Dems, they're sick of waiting for the complete Mueller report. They've authorized a subpoena to get their hands on it, and now they're going one step further. They want Mueller himself to testify. Well, a former federal prosecutor joins us after the break to weigh in as to whether or not we'll see the man on your screen swear under oath to tell the truth and nothing but the truth.